coloring friends. So while I'm busy with coloring Inktober in the month of October, I still wanted to make sure that I got a video out about the pages I colored in the previous month, and that's September. So this is what this video is, a little bit later than usual, but here it comes. We're gonna look together at the pages I colored in my books in the month of September 2024. So I'm gonna put them aside and start with the works in progress. I have uh, whips in two books. The first one I'm gonna show you is Small Victories. Um, now, I decided to consider each small illustration as a coloring in and of its own. So I do consider this finished, if you will. Maybe another time I'll do all these, but I didn't tr treat this as a full page. And you might have seen me working on this cute little thing in two previous videos, two color and chats. Yeah, two color and chats. Um, so you can go and watch those if you'd like. What I used are luminous pencils and a little bit of Posca for these two dots right here in the flowers. And that was it. I tried to keep it simple, but I really liked how I played with the colors in this one oh there's a mix throughout the mushroom of yellows and ochres and greens and oranges and purples um i think it gives a very nice effect um i'm really happy with it it's small but it's mighty um and i really love it and then I'm working here, so it's a work in progress on a couple of these. This one at the top is finished. Um, I base it with uh, pet artist pens, and then I went over with polychromos. The colors match because they're both from Faber Castell. And yeah, this is what I did so far. I think it's cute, and I'm happy with it, and I'm hoping to replicate it for these for the rest as well. Uh, yeah, and this one is a work in progress. I think it's the ugliest work in progress you'll ever see. I use Distress Inks. It just looks muddy. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, so let me cover it back up. I really don't like it, um, but I, ha I have an urge to finish it. Maybe the result will be better than I'm expecting, but that's small victories for you. And then the last work in progress I have is in the book Jardin. In Fleur by Sonia Cavallini. It's a French book from Marabou. Uh, and I started with this page right here. Now I've tried a lot of mediums. I think it's in the ugly stage. Uh, but I tried uh, gouache, the carandash gouache on the grass here and the sky. I'm not done with it, as you can see. Um, it really it's in the ugly face. And this green is like almost like a neon. So I want to go over it with something. And for the rest, I based it in Pit Artist Pen, I want to say. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little bit streaky still. And as you see, you might see that I started going with pencil over some of them. So I did the roof of this. So there's hope. <laughs> there's hope for this page. And I did these little flowers here and these ones and the leaves here. So I did start with it also um these are also done the gray uh yeah but uh, very much in the ugly stage i have to say <clears throat> in sonia cavallini's book now moving on to finished pages i wanted to do a page for um space timber the hashtag on instagram so i thought this book is a good one hannah carlson um yeah stories from the city between the stars or among the stars and the one that i did is this one right here a very simple page as you can see um i just did it on the couch so it was like relaxing mindless coloring for me what you see are a pit artist pens for all the stars and then the background is with this dressings a couple of colors and i do have to say i enjoy the background the most from this page it's not the most spectacular of pages but i think that the background does make it quite dreamy and cute and i thought i could have gone over the pit artist pen with some more pencils to give it depth but 
do you know when you just don't feel like it anymore? <laughs> uh, I feel like that's what happened to me. And then I just, yeah, gave into it. I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Um, I do like the background though, for sure. So this is a page in one of Hannah's books. Then another one I quite enjoy doing is in Kriya Check. And I want to do practice coloring faces. So I did this one. I tried a number of, of different skin tones. Um, I wanted to try my markers. This is all done with marker, with alcohol marker, what you see, with nothing on top. Um, and um, yeah, well, some are more successful than others. I'll let you be the judge of which one is which. But my favorite in terms of skin is this one right here. Let me pull it up a little bit. I think this was the most successful skin I've done. See, compared to this one, this one looks a little bit muddy. This one doesn't, or less. Um, and the difference here comes from the markers I used. On the left side, I used Copix. And then on the right side, I used Pro Marker Brush from Winston, Winsor & Newton. The colors are also different, of course, but I have a set, a skin tone set from Wizard & Newton with the light tones and the darker tones. Everything but this skin, this face, is colored with Wizard & Newton. My conclusion is that the Copic does better for skin tones and for blending. This is at least what I've concluded. So yeah, just, there's that little fun fact, piece of information. I don't think I prefer Copics for, for skin tones at least. Now, in terms of uh, hair, I also tried different colors for hair. Um, that was not Winsor & Newton anymore. I think I tried Ohuhu's. So a lot of the hair is done with Ohuhu's. Um, and the hair I like the most is this one right here. I think I got the, the darks and the lights quite well in this one. Um, this one's not too bad either. And this one is also okay, I think. But this is definitely my favorite. And uh, yeah, in terms of the clothes, I tried things. Um, some more successful than others, some more unidimensional than others. Uh, but yeah, overall for me, this was a page where I wanted to practice skin tones and hair. And I learned a few things, yeah. Uh, quite quite a few things actually. So this is a page in Kriya Check's book. Then we have 30 Days of Creativity by Johanna Basford. And here I, I did a few pages. This one, quite a simple one, kept it simple, Peter to spend again. And for the, uh, yeah, for this area of the pencil, I tried different colors and different pencils um from different brands i don't even remember which one is which but i tried to see whether the the colors match and what i can do with it and some were watercolor and others were dry but yeah this is what i got <clears throat> very simple page nothing spectacular for this one this is just a like a forever web i have to stay whenever i want to do some mindless coloring i decided i'm gonna do it here and this is the one that I that I did in September. It's all with pet artist pen and then with some fine liners as well from Stadler, the neon ones. So the orange, this yellow, the blue of the little bubble, the green on the leaves. These are the fine liners. And the rest is pet artist pen. So I replicated it here as well. Kind of a nice pattern page, again, more of a sit on the couch in color type of thing uh, in Johanna's book. This is my full year project uh, for 30 days of creativity. Next, I did some doodle coloring cards from Karin Lutenberg from Paper Fuel. This is the first one and I'm super happy with it. It's all alcohol markers, oh hoo hoos. And I tried to play with a little bit of depth here and there. I like how I managed to do the roof. I like the plants. I like this lamp. I like the pots. Um, 
yeah, there's a lot that I like about this. It's simple and yeah, yeah, cute. I find it cute. I'm happy with it, with, with the final outcome. All just alcohol markers. Uh, and it was tone on tone. So the same, the same color, I just went over it twice in the places where I wanted a bit more darkness. Uh, and it worked. And then the second one I did, which was a much quicker one, is this one for back to school. <laughs> this one I did earlier in September. This one just simple. Uh, same Ohuhu markers. I love, love Ohuhu markers on this paper. It's a bit of thicker paper. Yeah, just wonderful. So these are two cards that I did in this. These were from last summer. And then the last page that I have for you today is in a birthday calendar, a coloring calendar. And of course I did the month of September again with markers, with alcohol markers, with yohoohoos. So this is it. I repeated some colors. I added some variety with different greens. As you can see, this is all marker. I just went for a straight, simple coloring. Um, yeah, just to make it a little bit more colorful and, and happy. And then I'll start adding birthdays of, of friends and family here afterwards. And of course, next up is October and so on and so forth. So this is what I had for you in the month of September. Um, I didn't get to do as much as I wanted or maybe as I normally do, but I did enjoy it. What I did do, I did enjoy. Um, and I look forward to seeing you throughout the month of October um, for my month-long experiment called Coloring Inktober, where I'm coloring every day for a month in one of Rita Berman's travel books, um, a little illustration every day. So I hope to see you in one of those videos. Till next time, take care everyone. Bye-bye.